Dear students, welcome to Tungal Online Classes. Today, we will start uh, with uh, the new topic that is nothing but meiosis 2. Right? So, how meiosis 2, the doctors over here already have mentioned in the last video that meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis itself. Right? So, let us start with meiosis 2. Chromatrix are the chromosomes that starts for here. 
coiling of the so material that leads to formation of thick condensed chromosomes over here right so this is taking place in case of prophase 2 and next one is metaphase 2 so in metaphase as you know in mitosis already i have explained that one complete disappearance of what the nuclear is disintegration of nuclear membrane that takes place in prophase 2 and complete disappearance of nuclear membrane takes place and after the completion uh, complete disappearance of nuclear membrane nucleolus takes place over here both of them disappear so that the chromosomes are lying directly into the cytoplasm and simultaneously the duplication of esters and the moment of these esters that starts over here the synthesis of the spindle fibers that starts over here okay in progress to spindle fibers and these esters start to move towards the pole and form the spindle fibers so this is what happens in prophase 2 and next stage is metaphase 2 in metaphase 2 as already i have mentioned see here this is the animal cell now the cellules reach both the poles both the poles and establish the spindle fibers over here establish the spindle fibers over here now okay so now what happens over here the chromosome that attached to the spindle fiber and those chromosomes are brought to the equatorial line and that process is called as congression that process is called as congression already you know this is one chromosome this is another chromosome centrum here i have drawn over here so this is one chromosome this is another chromosome okay one chromosome i have to highlight here by shading already this kind of chromosome is seen in the previous meiosis one the same chromosome that is formed over here the same chromosome is formed over here ok and this one is the same chromosome ok so this is how the chromosomes are hanged to the hand into the spindle fiber with the help of hand network and they are lying on the same equatorial line forming metaphysic plate but here the double metaphysic plate is not formed in a single metaphysic plate is formed over here this is forming metaphysic plate over here single metaphase plate is formed over here and these chromosomes have to move towards the poles in anaphase 2 right so very simple aspect that occurs it is similar to the mitosis it is completely similar to the mitosis right see how the chromosomes are like and the genetical material that is dna is double over here that is about already these chromosomes have two chromatids that's why so the amount of the genetical material is 2c but in tetrads these are dyads in tetrads it was 4c four chromatids were present right so that's why so here so it is 2c now what happens now what happens so the next anaphase 2 occurs over here means the splitting of the centromere of these two chromosomes that takes place respectively. So how take place? How is it taking place? 
So let us see in anaphase two now. Now in anaphase two. A single cell I am taking over here. Here also I am showing a single cell over here. But actually, two cells are formed as a result of meiosis one. Right? Two haploid cells are formed in meiosis one. So I am showing this meiosis two with the help of a single cell. The same activity is taking place in another cell also. This is extra cell. So next cell. So this is one cell, this is another cell. Two cells will have to take over here. So we may take two cells over here. I am showing you the same thing. See here. The cellulose are there in respect to whole system. Okay, like this. Spindle fibers are already formed over here. Okay. Spindle fibers are already formed over here. Chromosomes are lying over here. So, but here what happens in anaphase 2, the splitting of the centromere that takes place of the two sister chromatids. These two are sister chromatids, splitting of the centromere takes place so that this chromosomal piece that goes here and this chromosomal piece that comes over here. See, what happens over here is, this is equatorial line. So basically, in the metaphase 2, so what happened? The chromosomes are lying on the equatorial line, they are brought on the equatorial line by progression. But here in this case, what happens here is, so the one chromosome by splitting of the centromere goes over here and another chromosome comes over here. Okay. This is the fact what I am going to show over here. Sorry. So this is one thing and this is another chromosome. This is another chromosome what I am showing here. One shaded chromosome, one so unshaded chromosome we have considered. See here, this is one chromosome that is formed as a result of splitting of the centromere. This is another chromosome formed as a result of splitting of the centromere. See here, 2C, 2C, here it became 1C. Here it became 1C. What happened over here? So how these chromosomes are shaded? In the same way we have to shade over here. See here, this is 1 chromosome. Okay. This is one chromosome with the shading at the end. And another one is there which is shaded lines. Now you are understanding what type of chromosomes are separated over here. See, this is one part. And this doesn't have any shade. Here we come across the complete shade of this chromosome. So this is another chromosome that remains over here. Okay, this is another chromosome. This is how the separation of the chromosomes that take place. So whenever the chimerical fibers, they are chromosomal fibers, they so what? With the help of themselves, these chromosomes start to move towards our respective poles. See here, these chromosomes they move towards this pole, and these chromosomes they move towards this pole, like this. Okay, so this is how a phase two that occurs over here in this, in this, so cell types. That is two cells that they can the same. Diagram we may draw over here as In this cell also the same activity is going on. See here this is one chromosome, this is another chromosome. This is one chromosome, this is another chromosome. So share it here. Okay. And share. 
and what is the importance of this meiosis so this is more important aspect to be remembered here and one more thing is that so we'll discuss after that one yes now the significance of meiosis how meiosis is very important what it helps for let us see see here meiotic cell division is also one type of cell division which also help in maintenance of constant chromosomal number in particular species it helps in maintaining constant chromosomal number in respect to species see here what happens over here is see male organism is there female organism is there in male so there is human being you may consider okay in male human being 46 number of chromosomes are present over here and female 46 are this is the diploid number of chromosome what i have written and these are present in body chromosomes these are present in the body chromosomes or somatic chromosomes somatic chromosomes these are same things so dividing the gamete formation what happens So these cells consider these are the germ cells. These are germ cells. These undergo division so as to form what 23 number of chromosomes as a result of meiosis. As a result of meiosis, 46 is reduced to 23. Here also it is 23. It is present in ovum or egg cell. It is present in sperm cell. These are the what gametes. During gamete formation, meiotic cell division occurs. See here, this gamete fuses with, I mean, the sperm fuses with female gamete that is ova. So now, when these two gametes fuse each other, totally they form a diploid number of chromosomes once again. So and this is nothing but zygote. So zygote is the diploid cell from which the life starts. The life starts once again. The organism maintains the same constant chromosomal number in it. In case of the human being, that part. This is how meiosis helps in the maintenance of a constant number of chromosomes. This is one fact, one importance. And the second one is it brings about a genetic. or genetical variations meiosis brings about genetical variations this is more important fact to be remembered over here very important fact we must understand over here. see here how it brings about genetic variations you know already crossing over what do you know crossing over You know already crossing over. What happens in the crossing over? This is one chromosome lies on another chromosome like this. See here, two homologous chromosomes. One is from parental cell. One is from maternal cell. These two are non-sister chromatids. These two are sister chromatids. This is the fact I have already clarified. See here, after crossing over, what happens? This piece that goes to this chromosome and this piece of the chromatid that goes to this chromosome. That is why, so as to show that the difference, I had shaded one chromosome. 
this chromosome has been completely shaded by it. Okay, like this. I have made a shade of One chromosome was shaded completely like this. This is one chromosome. One homologous chromosome come from maternal set. This is paternal set of chromosomes. So both of them says overlap one each other. Synapsis, technical synapsis leads to crossing over things. As a result of crossing over, recombinase nodule is formed. A recombinase nodule that contains enzymatic complex. That enzymatic complex consisting of a several number of enzymes. One of the enzyme endonuclease that cut this base chromatid here and this chromatid here. Okay, that cuts. And the exchange of the both are chromatids that the take place. See here basically, so genetical recombination that occurs, the genetical recombination of the genes of as a result of crossing over I have mentioned. See here, this is one gene rotating on the chromosome, this is another, 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 So like this many genes are arranged on this chromosome. So of course here also many number of genes are located in different locations of the chromosome. This is nothing but the basic, basic combination of the genes are present over here. Here in this case also same combination of genes are present over here also in this chromosome also. What happens now is when the chromatic pieces that are exchanged between these two homologous chromosomes, what happens now? The combination of the genes that varies, right? So this much part has been cut over here, and this piece I am going to highlight over here. This piece I am going to highlight over here. So now the, these genes that are removed from this chromatid and these genes are brought over here so that these genes are like this. Imagine this. And the next genes are like this. These are already existing genes. These are the new genes came from another homologous chromosome. The combination of the genes that changed. And this combination of the gene itself is called as what? Recombination of the genes is called as what it is called as? Recombination of genes. Remember, recombination of the gene. So, what is gene? You may confuse yourself. Remember, so this is the DNA. Already I have told you, this chromosomes are made up of nothing but uh, this. DNA itself. A fragment of DNA is called as gene. A fragment of DNA is called as gene. A piece of the DNA is called as gene. And one gene expresses one character. One gene expresses one character. Remember. The character may be color of the skin, color of the eye, so any characteristic feature, right? He expresses such kind of many number of genes are lying over here, right? Almost all the genes are almost similar in these homologous chromosomes, but what happens over here is the combination of the genes that changed, that change due to crossing. Hence, it is called as recombination of genes. It is called as as a result of which the character that differs. Basically, what the character is there because of this combination of the gene, that character is changed due to change the chromosome uh, genes present over here in the same chromosome. Now change the genes these are. So that change the characteristic feature. Right? So that is why genetical variation. This is called as genetical variation. Variation occurred over here, change in the characteristic features occurred in the organisms over here as a result of crossing over. Right? And 
and this genetical variation it leads to evolution. It leads to what? Evolution. What do you mean by evolution? The Krishna has one type of species that change to another type of species. Why? Why this species change to this species is because change in the characteristic features by sexually reproducing organisms. When sexual reproduction occurs, crossing over occurs. Crossing over leads to genetical variation. Genetical variations, a lot of variations that are occupied in the same species that leads to formation of new species from the pre existing species in a long duration of time, slowly and gradually, is called as evolution. I hope it is very clear to you. Now, this is genetical variation that occurs that helps for evolution that occurs due to crossing over in the packeting stage of meiosis. So meiosis, that's why it has its own importance. And next, so significance of this meiosis is What is the next significance? Third one. So, this is helping for sexual reproduction. This meiosis helps for sexual reproduction. Why? Right? Sexually reproducing organisms are of two types. One is male and female. Male produces pale gamut that is sperm. Female produces foam or yes. These two fuse to form zygote. This is sexual type of reproduction. It is a type of reproduction in which formation and fusion of the gametes that take place to form new individual is called a sexual reproduction. Means this meiosis helps sexual reproduction. Also, next topic is very important one, cell division inhibitors. Cell division inhibitors. What are those substances that inhibit the cell division? Right? So those substances are called as cell division inhibitors. Some of the azides, cyanides, chalos, and coxcum. So these are the substances which inhibit the cell division. Hence, these are also known as mitotic or mitotic poisons. These are simply as poisons. They inhibit the cell division. Right? And coxicum is one of these. And this is extracted from extracted from Crocus Atom Crocus Atom is the plant from which it is extracted and this is also extracted means it is also known as Crocus Right? Atom is also so has a under name this coxcomb so that inhibit that inhibit formation of formation of spindle fibers that inhibit the formation of spindle fibers so that what happens it inhibits the cell division itself so that's why coxcomb is one of the 
poison, mitotic poison it is called. Such kind of many inhibitors are also there itself. Right? So this is all about the cell cycle and cell division. By this I am going to complete this chapter now and in the next video we will start with the MCQs multiple choice questions related with this chapter. Thank you.